everybody, and welcome to the next game that I'm going to play, which is Ark Survival Evolved. And also, on a small note, a happy birthday to myself. Today, June 3rd, uh, for you guys, it's June 2nd, but here in Tokyo, it's already June 3rd. Uh, this game was finally released in early access, and I was looking very, very forward to it. And then when I woke up this morning, uh, I saw the bad news that this game uh, had very mixed reviews, and about 50% are positive and 50% are negative. Now, the negative reviews, almost all of them have to do with the fact that this game is very, very poorly optimized. Um... I am able to run the game The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt, which you are seeing right now on my machine at all settings on the highest setting except for the H NVIDIA hair physics um, at 1080p with 30 frames per second. So that's not the smooth 60, but I am actually able to play that. With this game on the lowest settings, I get like 16 frames per second. I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, if I play it on high, which you can now see that I have it on high here, I get about 10 to 11 to 12 frames per second. So that's not a huge difference with, with 16, so I just decided to keep it on high. Um, so to be honest, uh, if you were to ask yourself, like, should I buy this early access, yes or no, uh, currently, I would say no, because uh, very few people can play it optimally. Um, what I would like to ask you guys though is um, please help me or give some advice in the comments down below on what I should be doing with crafting or gathering because I'm not too familiar with the uh, survival genre. I played the forest of course, um, but I'm only going to play this for 20 minutes now. This is my birthday and I got some other stuff, but uh, definitely in the weekend when I have a lot more free time I actually want to go uh, and explore. Some other friends bought this as well, and I even thought, I don't know how possible this is, to actually maybe host a server of our own and actually have subscribers play um, with us or against us um, to kind of avoid the, 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 the clusterfuck that you get in most of these survival games where other players simply um, kill other players or, or, or um, how do you say it, where they, they guard respawn points to kind of gank uh, new, newly spawned uh, players. Anyway, let's uh, get into a server. It's been uh, pretty difficult to actually get into one since I'm, of course, in uh, Asia. Uh, we'll try th this. I am not going to put any effort in my character currently. Um, the character customization is that all that impressive uh, at this stage, of course. Um, but yeah, I hope, uh, of course, I know that the fact that it's early access, that there's a lot of stuff still wrong with it. Um, but uh, I definitely hope that the next character survivor named Joe, uh, really, I don't care. Um, I hope that the next patch will absolutely focus on optimization. Um, what usually happens with early access games is that they add new stuff to the game in terms of gameplay. So, currently there are 30 animals rideable. Uh, not only dinosaurs, but birds, uh, scorpions, uh, 30. And they eventually want to get 100 uh, creatures to be rideable. Um, but, instead of focusing on adding more animals, please opt uh, or focus on optimizing the graphics. Because as you can see, the game looks gorgeous. It is the new Unreal Engine 4 showing its glory, and this is high. Uh, not even Ultimate, so that you can actually go a little bit higher. Um, but, uh, but yeah, we, so we stranded, or we woke up on this beach. We are cold, and when I test this game out, I kind of swam, and I was like, Holy shit, there are sharks. Or should I say Megalodons, because those sharks are a lot bigger than uh, sharks I usually see. As you can see, they're stuck though. One, oh god. One reason why I kind of believed in this uh, in this game, because I, I often uh, don't buy early access games because they're usually, the quality is kind of poor. Uh, that, that guy killed the other guy, fuck, fuck that. Um, but the reason why I was really interested was because one, the trailer, oh god. Am I still here? I'm still here, I think. <laughs> okay, but uh, one of the reasons why I, I trusted in this game was because the list that they actually had with um, uh, the, the, the status of their of their release 
was actually pretty impressive. Like I said, 30 animals are rideable. There is actually endgame content. There is an overall boss that you can uh, fight. And if you defeat that boss, the game will actually end. So you can actually complete the game uh, already at this stage. Now, in order to do that, you actually need to do a whole lot of... Sh uh, so you can actually see there in the uh, chat that there is already some spawn killing going on. So, you know, that's great. There are 70 people on this server, I think. But yeah, like I said, please give me some comments, give me some tips on what I should be doing in terms of uh, collecting. I know that if I punch against a uh, tree, I will collect wood. <laughs> Here you can see a triceratops. Ah! Look at you. I have some weird icon there. Actually, wait a minute. Can I? What the fuck was that? If I press I, I can go go to craftables and I can make a torch or a stone pickaxe, which is what I need. I need a stone, one wood, and thatch. Thatch you also get from trees. That's somebody else's. We got some wood. But really, I mean, this game looks okay, but there's no reason why I should be at these low frames. There's no reason. Now, I have thatch and I have wood. Real question now. How... How do I get stone? In order to actually prepare for this game, I uh, bought the game Beasts of Prey. Um, now that is an absolute, absolute piece of garbage. Um, I also played, of course, the Facebook Dinosaur Hunter game, which you might have seen, and I also bought the Carnivores game, but the Carnivores game was also very badly optimized. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Now, how do I craft this? Do I double click? I do! Level up is available, access inventory to apply it. Oh, okay. Oh, that, see, that's cool. So we got some RPG elements in here. We got melee damage plus one. We got more weight. Uh, uh, I don't know. Crafting speed. Fortitude. What does that do? What the hell does that do? I guess I want more movement speed. Oh, my God. What is this? Choose engrams to learn spending your available engram points. Unlearn campfire. Consume. What the fuck? Engram points three. Okay, I will do a campfire. A stone. Oh wait a minute. So now I can make that, correct? How about we make a shirt? And and a hatchet. Sure. Oh no, wait. That's uh, I have two. Okay, never mind. But now I should be able to make that, correct? Yes. Uh, fiber. You need 40 fiber. Here you need flint. God knows where you yeah, got to get flint. So how do I now use my pickaxe? Okay, not that way. There we go. Alright. So... This is version 1.60, and I think there was a closed beta already going on in the, uh, or closed alpha or whatever it is, on their site. On the release page, there was actually uh, your hot, so you should find some place to cool down soon. Oh, that's what that means. Well, that's easy enough. Go to uh, the sea. Uh, huh. Because you know what it is with the early access game. So, the game Stranded Deep was a game that I was really looking for and looked so interesting. Uh, however, that game was released in, I think, March? Maybe earlier. But that game only has gotten two updates and not very significant uh, updates at all. 
and um, kind of am disappointed with how some of the developers are treating their projects. Uh, the game The Forest is definitely one of the uh, games that does get a lot of attention from its creators. That game uh, is, I think, a little bit over a year old and has like 18 updates, so if, if you go for an early access game, go for that. I mean, that game has changed very dramatically since it was released. Also very buggy in the beginning, but a lot more streamlined there. Now, that is, of course, the uh, problem that you keep getting. Oh, well, in the chat it says that you can collect dinosaur poop. Isn't that great? That just makes my life complete. Wait, what's that sound? Ah, I got flint. Now, originally, I thought a lot of people would actually buy this game. A lot of friends, uh, uh, Kyle said he would buy it, uh, Cody said he would buy it, and a lot of them actually uh, decided not to. Actually, no, that, that, what I'm saying is wrong. Uh, oh, you motherfucker! Of course you have other players that try to kill others. Wait, oh god. Ah, uh, what an asshole. Why do you always have players that do that? You're tired, stubborn. Yeah, great. Ah, you motherfucker. Oh. Ah, of course I'm dead. Level 3. Well, I hope he's proud. So that is also one of the reasons why I was thinking of maybe um, hosting a server of our own uh, and actually have uh, you guys come in and play. Um, and I wouldn't say that we all should be friendly, but at least if it's uh, if it's um, a large quantity that actually wants to work together, at least you won't have this shit that you saw just now, where I just spawn and people just kill me for no reason. See, they're already. Two more spawns. See, this, this is shitty. They need to change this as soon as possible. I mean, one way to avoid this, I guess, is by me running into the forest. But I have still a lot to learn of the, the mechanics in this game. Oh, God. Also, I want that bird. Give me that pterodactyl. I want to ride the pterodactyl. <laughs> But what I said earlier about the uh, Kyle, actually, I, I, I mentioned the trade to him, he didn't actually want it. Um, Kanawa did buy it, if I'm not mistaken, but Cody, I remember Cody said that he didn't want it, but he ended up actually feeling quite interested, so he might actually have it. So I was hoping to actually do a Let's Play of this with a big group of like maybe five, six people. Eh, it's not going to happen, unfortunately, it's more going to be like two or three people, which is also fine. Spartacus might buy it, I don't know. What the hell? Is this Rock Island? What is happening here? Give me some wood! I don't need thatch. There we go. Oh. No. There's that. They did say, say though, on the, um... Steam page that the creators will have multiple updates every week. That's uh, that's a lot to, to say. That's pretty pretty risky, but uh, I'm curious if they're going to do it. They're going to update it on a quick rate. They say. So hold on. Is my HP low? There's like blood coming. Yeah, it is. Wow. Oh, that's cool though. You remember. The craft thing things. I'm, wait, am I level two still? Oh yeah, I am. That's fun.
See, I'm very happy that they actually are making multiple um, of these dinosaur survival games, but again, a lot of them aren't quite good. I don't know if you guys remember Stomping the Land or something what it was called. Those creators basically bailed. I think they didn't update their game once. Really glad I didn't buy that game because, God, I think it was like 20 bucks or something, and they, they literally ran away with the money. And, um... I think the game Primal Hunt has gotten a lot of good reviews. But the real attraction of this game was, of course, how it looks. It looks so colorful, tropical, in a way it remembers me of Crisis. But then again, the optimization is really shitty. And uh, I'm playing this at 12 frames per second. So, you know. It's got a long way to go. A long way to oh my god, we have a turtle! With spikes! I actually, earlier... I didn't record this, but I saw two of the animals fight each other. So they actually already have that AI enabled, where they will engage each other in combat, which is cool. Which, because if you do that, you can actually simulate predators hunting herbivores. Actually, I should switch to my pickaxe. Can I collect the seaweed? Equip fists or torch and use... Oh, look at that. Oh my god! Oh wait, it's a stone. I want seaweed. No. God damn it. Are there sharks between these rocks? So I'm actually quite impressed with the number of uh, RPG. Oh god. RPG statistics that you can upgrade. Uh, the oxygen obviously is for when you when you dive. So. So. Um, <laughs> the oxygen's obviously for. Uh, when you when you swim, but and I doubt that they have this in this game at this moment. If you, for example, make underwater caves, that can only be accessible by um, units or characters that actually have a lot of oxygen. Wait, what is that? Is that that? What? Is, what are you? <gasps> is this that dinosaur that kills the guy in Jurassic Park? Ah! I have my answer there. Is it still after me? I don't think so. Alright, people, let's see. How long have... What the fuck was that? How long have we been recording? Alright, people, so it's 18 minutes or something, but of course the first two minutes was only me talking to menu, so let's actually go into the forest, explore, see what we can find. Obviously, the big thing that you want to encounter here is the Tyrannosaurus, and... Since all the new players start at the beach, I would say that the logical thing to do is actually have the more dangerous dinosaurs be in the uh, center of the island. So, I'm probably in pretty dangerous territory right now. Can I... Oh god. Oh, it's raining. That's nice. Of course, it's safer here, too. Not a whole lot of people go there. We need flint. That's what we need. And fiber. God knows where you can get fiber. For campfire, you need more stone, thatch. I'm not hungry, though, so I'm still good. God damn it. What the fuck was that? It's not that scary, though, unless, uh, unlike the forest. Though I don't know if those sounds are actually real time. I assume that they are background song or sounds. This is some foliage. I didn't even hit it and I got it. That's amazing. Level up is available. Alright, cool. Uh, what will we upgrade? My movement speed is 1 on 2, melee damage... I don't know what the fuck fortitude is. What does that mean? Oxygen, food, water... That's all good. I guess we can do a little bit more health? We got 10 points. What shall we learn? Okay, a hatchet? Might be useful to learn. A spear? Nah. 
I don't know what this is. A foundation is required to build structures. This one is a wooden frame with some smooth bundles of sticks. Okay, so it's basically the blueprint for if you want to build a building. A door frame. I'm pretty actually like, impressed with the number of stuff you can build. Oh, you know what? Let's learn to um, create pants. Because, of course, my character's naked right now. We, uh... Write your own text in the notes. No, an easily made melee weapon that can also be thrown. A spear. I guess it's for fishing, though. Has a chance to break when used. No. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I don't know if fishing is in this game actually. Oh wait a minute. I can do. No, no, no. I don't know what the maximum level is, but I am intrigued. How are we doing on that campfire? See, I kind of want to make that campfire because that is kind of a beautiful way to end this at first episode. I need more stone. That's the only thing I need. Where do I get stone when I got no harvesting tool? Pick it up. Wait a minute. This is all flint. I thought I got stone there last time, though. I guess I now have to pick it up manually. Whoa! I got berries. That's good. Oh, and fiber! <gasps> That's how you get fiber, huh? Cool, I can make a shirt if I get enough. Okay, also, I am, I'm still hot, but it's raining. That's not realistic, game. Come on, what are you doing? Let me see if I can make that shirt. What do you need for the pants? 50 fiber. Uh, I have 21 fiber. You know what would be really, really cool? And I doubt that they will put this in here. If you have a tribe, and you have a big, big base, if you can actually get an economy or a m small market running in that place, where people will actually... Uh, oh, we have seeds, so now we can grow crops. That's good. But where people can actually trade, and depending on how rare some stuff is, you know, you can trade for more. And it's kind of cool. Kind of your own ecosystem going on there. What can I make? I can make a hatchet? No, a torch. Weapon damage is 100%. Oh, whatever. Oh, 39. I need one more fiber and I can make a shirt. Still have no pants then, though, but, you know. You can't have them all. There we go, three fiber. Alright, let's, uh, make a shirt. Can I equip the shirt? Oh, it gives 10 armor. How do I equip the shirt? There we go. Yay, look at that. I have shirt. Oh, here we go. You can equip something on your head. Chest, legs, feet, and hands. That's right, we also saw the gloves. All right, now let's make a campfire, people. There are no other players here, so this is going to be my little area. I don't know how the saving system works here, if it's in this early stage, if you can actually, if I log off, if I lose my character. But then again, I've only been playing for 20 minutes, so haven't really been doing that much uh, stuff. Why is... Oh yeah, I need more stone. That's right. I thought by now that I would have had actually more stone. I gotta say, I am I am still quite impressed with just the amount that is available at this, at this beginning. Just the big problem is optimization. It, you will have a very difficult time to play this game smoothly. But what what is there is actually quite impressive. I mean, if you've bought a um, or if you bought a uh, a PC in like 2014 or on, I'd definitely get this game. You should be able to run it without any problem. But like I said, it's it's poorly optimized. I can play, I can play The Witcher. And the Witcher is more graphically impressive than this, I think. Look at that. Okay, we can build a campfire. Nice, nice, nice. That's a nice ending. Let's go back to our area. To the Kanoa. Kanoa Shack. Here we go. 
Alright. Here we got some nice lighting. Uh, let's make the campfire. Um. Oh, I need to choose it. Oh, wow, it looks... Owner is Joe. I'm Joe, of course. Hold for more options. How do I turn it on? Must contain a fuel, such as wood or thatch, to light the fire. Cooks raw food when lit. I understand that. Does flint work? No. You want wood. Is that enough? Light fire. Oh my god, and... <gasps> let there be fire! Ah! Oh, look at this... Oh, look at the lighting effects, people. Oh, it looks so gorgeous. Alright, people, that is it for the very first episode. Again, like I said, give some tips on what I should be uh, looting or, or, or crafting or that sort of stuff. Uh, I am really enjoying this game. Uh, but like I said, uh, performance issues is the big thing. But uh, I cannot wait to delve deeper into this. Uh, and um, like I said, some other people will also buy it. So we definitely also do a multiplayer series. Uh... So yeah, thanks you guys for watching. Maybe also you guys can play with me uh, sometime. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.